Welcome back to Firestone Games, and in this video we'll be celebrating the release of the new Auric Warclans army book by showing you how to quickly paint the Auric Brutes in their classic yellow and blue colour scheme. So, let's get started with the priming. The first step in painting your models is to prime them, and as we'll be using some contrast paints for this guide, it makes sense to use the warm off-white Wraithbone primer. However, instead of the model uh, being primed with entirely one colour, I will instead be starting off with a coat of Zandri dust before spraying the Wraithbone from above. The result is a two-tone appearance with the model appearing darker when viewed from below than when viewed from above. This will help to create the appearance of shadows on your Auric Brute. You'll also notice that I've kept the armour separate from our Brute to make the later painting steps much easier. Once primed, our first task is to dry brush everything with some white scar. To dry brush, load up a large brush with some paint and drag it across a piece of paper or tissue so only a little paint remains in the bristles. Then, quickly drag the brush over your surfaces, which will cause the paint to accumulate on the hard edges and details, boosting their definition when we apply the contrast paint over them. By ensuring that your brush is ever so slightly damp during this process, you should get a smoother overall finish as well. The first contrast paint to apply is going to be over the orc skin, and for this I'll be using Militarum Green straight from the part and applying it over all of the flesh areas. Make sure you keep your application as even as possible, making sure you avoid tide marks forming on those surfaces. This will result in an olive green appearance, which will be a much nicer complement to the yellow armour rather than the usual dark green orc skin colour. Next, you want to paint the inside of the mouth with some flesh terrors red. Keeping the head separated at this stage like I have here means you won't be fighting to get your brush around your orc's teeth. Over the trousers and metal weaponry, apply a layer of black templar. When painted over the cloth, the warmer base colour should result in the appearance of a worn, dusty material. However, when painting the weapons, you may need to apply two coats here to get a darker metal appearance. Over the boots and belts, we can create a reddish brown appearance by making use of some snake bite leather. You can also give your metal areas a coat of this too in order to create a rusted appearance. Snake bite leather thinned with a contrast medium can also be used to give the areas of teeth, bone, and cloth wrapping some slight shading in their recesses. With our bone colored primer, we will have achieved a good starting point already. To give the armour that rich, vibrant colour, I will next be applying a layer of Iandin Yellow. The warm colour of the primers will help to maintain the intensity of the yellow far better than a cooler primer such as Gracia would have done. For the dark teal of the shoulder pads, apply a layer of Akalin Green, taking care not to overspill onto the yellow parts of the armour here. To finish off the model, apply a light dry brush of Necron Compound over the metal areas of the model before assembling your individual components once again. Remember to clean your contact points with a knife first to ensure a stronger bond when you come to glue them. And here we have the finished Auric Brute that has been based with some textured paints and static grass. If you enjoyed this quick guide to getting your Aurochs painted and ready for gaming in as little time as possible, then please do let us know in the comments below, along with your suggestions for other tutorials you would like to see us tackle. You can find this kit and all of the paints used in this video on the Firestone Games web store for at least 10% off the RRP, and you can find a link to the site in the description below. And so we just want to finish off by saying a big thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestone Games.